Our beauty's return is literally placed before our eyes every time we turn our gaze to the sky. The reasons vary considerably depending on the weather, time of day, and season. As we know, on a cloudless summer day, the sky appears in a brilliant shade of blue, which is related to the sunlight penetrating our planet's atmosphere and being partially scattered. Without this phenomenon called diffuse radiation, the sky would not appear in its blue tone, but in an intense black. The fact that we see the color blue in all things is also due to the blue spectral rays of light that scatter in the air more strongly than red light. To experience the most intense blue sky on our planet, you must visit Brazil. Researchers have discovered that the sky above the world-famous metropolis has the richest hue on the planet, primarily due to relatively few dust particles and water droplets in the region's atmosphere. The Earth's sky is already fascinating, and the views from other planets in our universe are no less stunning. If you've ever wondered what the sky would be like on other planets, we can answer that in this video. Hello, we would like to present various artistic representations and real scenes that will amaze you. If you enjoy our videos, please leave a like, subscribe to our channel, and stay tuned for more incredible videos. Let's begin our journey through the vast universe. The creation of a sky's appearance is essentially defined as the view we obtain when we look into space from the surface of a planet. What we see is closely related to the atmospheric conditions found on the respective celestial body. The celestial image is thus created by the density of the atmosphere and depends on its transparency and chemical composition. Depending on these conditions, the sky can appear in a variety of colors. If there are clouds in the environment, these accumulations of mist and ice crystals can also shine in various tones. Many planets, unlike Earth, lack an atmosphere or have an extremely thin one. The view of the sky is a direct view of the adjacent space that is not obscured by the various hues of the atmosphere, clouds, or the basic color tone. Other galactic objects can determine the aspect of a sky. From Earth's perspective, those galactic objects that are directly in the planet's line of sight, such as the Sun or our Moon, are also visible in the daytime sky. Above Mercury, the sky is characterized by an intense black hue due to the planet's lack of atmosphere. The sky of Mercury is similar to what we see when looking into space from Earth's orbit, which might lead us to think that on the golden side of Mercury, we could regularly look at stars and other planets. However, this is not the case. As Mercury is only 58 million kilometers away from the central star of our planetary system, the Sun, the sunlight obscures the light from other celestial bodies in the vicinity to the point that they cannot be seen during the day. At the same time, the small distance between the planet and the Sun ensures that the star appears much larger in the sky above Mercury than on Earth. The solar disk that can be seen from the small planet is about two and a half times larger than on our blue planet. Depending on the position of the Sun and Mercury's orbital position, sunlight appears up to ten times brighter than on Earth due to the space conditions. Venus also appears much brighter in Mercury's sky than we are used to on Earth but our blue planet and its moon can also be clearly seen in the sky above Mercury. Venus has a sky with impenetrable cloud fields. Unlike Mercury, Venus has an atmosphere composed of dense clouds of sulfuric acid and other chemical elements with a thickness of about 20 kilometers. Due to this impenetrable cloud cover, it is comparatively dark on Venus during the day, although the celestial body is much closer to the sun than Earth. The lighting conditions on Venus are incomparable to those on a cloudy day on our planet due to the thick atmosphere and nebula. Neither the Sun nor the stars can be recognized as clearly defined objects on Venus. During the Venera space program conducted by the Soviet Union between 1961 and 1983, it was determined that the Venusian sky most likely has an orangish-red coloration, which under certain circumstances can also appear yellowish-green. If we were to view the space above the thick Venusian atmosphere, we would see the Sun, Earth, and the Moon brightly illuminated and clearly defined. The sky above the Moon, Earth's natural satellite, is similar to the view we would have on Mercury. Just like the smallest planet in our solar system, the Earth's Moon has no atmosphere. Therefore, the sky appears deep black. However, due to the intensity of sunlight, stars cannot be seen in the sky during lunar days. 
The view of the sun on the moon differs slightly from our terrestrial perspective. Although the fixed star's disk has approximately the same size, it appears slightly brighter on the moon than on our planet. It also has a purer white color. Earth can be seen very well from the moon's surface. Images obtained during previous space missions prove that our planet is extremely visible in the lunar sky. The visible diameter of our home planet is about four times larger than the diameter of the moon visible from Earth. Mars, how is the sky on the famous red planet? It differs from Mercury and our moon. Mars has an atmosphere, but it is extremely thin. Furthermore, the Martian atmosphere contains numerous dust particles that ensure the strong scattering of the light rays reaching the red planet. This means that even during the day, no stars can be seen in Mars's sky. Determining the color of the sky on Mars is not easy in practice, not only due to the high concentration of aerosols, but also because of a phenomenon known as the Purkinje effect. According to this effect, how the human eye perceives a color strongly depends on the brightness conditions. When darkening, red objects appear much darker to us, but we can still recognize blue objects well even in challenging lighting conditions. Despite this, we know that Mars's sky has a reddish-orange color during the day. When the sun begins to set on the red planet, the sky appears pink, while the area around the setting sun is illuminated by a bright blue. The photos published during various Mars missions do not always reflect the correct color scheme of the Martian sky. This is due to the fact that the aforementioned photographs were equipped with filters that enhance certain effects of interest to scientists. Nevertheless, the images of the Martian sky testify to its stunning beauty. And Saturn, the beautiful sky on the ringed planet. Saturn is characterized by its impressive ring system, composed of thousands of individual orbits, mainly formed by rock and ice particles. As expected, the complex ring system is clearly visible in Saturn's sky appearing as a breathtaking arc that stretches across a large part of the sky, depending on its position. But the rest of the sky on the ringed planet also impresses with its extraordinary appearance. Saturn's atmosphere, in its higher regions, presents a strong blue tone, while the lower layers appear yellow to the observer. As many may already know, there are numerous moons in the vicinity of the ringed planet, of which science has discovered 82 to date. When we consider the magnitude of the presence of our one and only terrestrial moon in the sky, we can quickly come to the idea that Saturn's sky resembles a fascinating spectacle created by countless clearly visible moons. However, in reality, it is much less spectacular. Most of Saturn's moons are too small and distant to be easily seen in the planet's sky. This also applies to Titan, Saturn's largest moon. Due to its spatial position, the giant natural satellite in Saturn's firmament appears to be only half the size of Earth's moon in our night sky. Did you enjoy our video about the skies on other planets? Which one impressed you the most? Feel free to leave your opinion in the comments. Until next time.